Baptist pastor Stephen Anderson spoke about uh, the terror attacks in a sermon on Sunday, and it got ugly. I'm deeply religious, and I felt like the devil had given me a song. He's talking about songwriting. I'm deeply religious, and I felt like the devil had given me this song. So his religion's to worship the devil. Right. Eagles of Death Metal is the name of the band. And the Bible says in Proverbs, all they that hate me love death. Right. Speaking of God, those who hate God love death. You know, it, it, there's something about when you go to a concert of death metal, somebody might get killed. Right. You know, you're worshiping death. And then all of a sudden, people start dying. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Well, you love death so much yeah. that you bought the ticket. Yeah. You love worshiping Satan. Well, let's have some of Satan's religion come in and shoot you. I mean, that's what these people should think about before they go to such a wicked concert. And look, I'm not condoning what these Islamic murderers did. They're wicked. They're murderers. But you know what? Nobody should be at a concert worshiping Satan with this drug-pushing hillbilly faggot. And that's what he is. I mean, all you have to do is just Google this band. Somebody told me, somebody emailed me and said, just hit Google Images, Eagles of Death Metal. And these guys are just total sodomite-looking freaks. You know, but nobody thinks about that. It's just, oh, no. Let's, si let's stand with France. No, France is a sinful Wicked nation. Let me tell you a little bit about France. Unreal. Unreal. I mean, that is victim blaming if I've ever seen it. And then you have the obligatory throw in. Now, I'm not justifying the murders, but let me go on to justify the murders here. We've called this guy before Hitler pastor or Nazi pastor because he's given speeches where he said, for example, kill all the transgender people. I think he might have said that about Jews, too. Kill all the Jews. Kill all the transgender people. This guy is a lunatic. He's a pastor in Arizona, fundamentalist Baptist pastor. But what's really interesting is you can see the relationship in ideology between what he believes and what jihadists believe. Now, again, is there a fundamental difference where, you know, this guy hasn't actually killed anybody? Yes. Would I trust this guy if he got power? Fuck no, because he might actually act on this shit if he got power. So he hasn't actually done it, and jihadists have actually done it, and, you know, we could get into those differences. But purely from an ideological perspective, as referenced, but you know, as evidenced, I should say, by him saying kill transgender people, kill Jews, and all that stuff, <laughs> he is almost exactly like them. Because look at the point he's making. He's saying, well, I mean, sure, uh, terrorist attack, bad, whatever, but... They were in a death metal band. They worship death. So I'm not saying they had it coming, but maybe they had it coming. No, no, no. They didn't have it coming. Nobody has it coming. Uh, I don't know if you know this big guy, but that's music. Just because, you know, you sing a song about anything doesn't mean that that's necessarily the case in real life. Okay? That's like saying, well, you, you went to go see Rambo. People are getting shot in Rambo, you know? What do you expect? So obviously somebody's going to come in the shooter and sh theater and shoot you up because you're watching Rambo. There's a lot of death on screen. You're sinning. I mean, what are you going to do? That's what's going to happen in real life. Am I right? No, you're wrong. It it it's entertainment. You know, whether it's a movie or it's music, that's not the same as real life. That's why when you kill somebody, when you're playing Halo or Rainbow Six, you don't get brought up on murder charges because you didn't actually fucking murder somebody. So if you make death metal music or you, you know, make a movie where people get hurt, it, that, you're not guilty of anything. But that's the point is that he thinks that that's an evil on its own. That's an evil on its own. And, he, you know, he thinks that the band is gay or whatever, too. He's like, ah, oh, these faggots. So in other words, he's like, well, I mean, come on, they were gay. Maybe they were asking for a little bit. And they were doing music. Music is evil. That's exactly what the jihadists said, too. You know, music, under their interpretation of Islam, music is haram. Evil. Bad. Can't do it. So this guy's like, eh, maybe they have it right, maybe they have it right. I'm not saying they have it right. I'm not with the Islamic terrorists. They're bad people. But I mean, fuck, he was in a death metal band. Hello, guys. It wasn't, a, it wasn't like a gospel band. If, if it was gospel music, then obviously, you know, they're angelic and you can never kill them. That'd, that'd be wrong. But, uh, come on, he, he might, may have worshipped the devil. If he worshipped the devil, France is a filthy country, isn't it? He also goes on to say, well, look. Again, I'm not saying they asked for it, but France does do abortions. 